Okay, hello everybody and welcome back to The Witcher 3. I ran over to the book merchant, uh, cause I was like, having nothing to do while I waited for the audio to export. Um, so I read... I bought all the books I hadn't read yet. And we got a bestiary entry called Chort, which I read. Um, and the little book part itself said that, uh... Um... I mean, they're made by, apparently, witches, they can magic a uh, bear to mount a boar, and that's basically what makes this creature. This is the offspring of that union. And the witches, if they find them, because well, usually they'll, they'll die of starvation, these babies, unless a witch finds them and they feed them enchanted milk until they get old enough to want to eat everything else possible. Um, and then the witches will constantly come to their aid... You know, like, they, they, these guys remain very true to their mothers, I guess, which are the witches. So that's creepy. Um, but I decided we're going to do the werewolf one, because freaking, I don't know how that's going to turn out, but freaking, draw looks ready to go, though. Pretty boy. Pretty boy. I am a pretty boy. Uh, big map. We're going to go over to Skellige. Yeah, I need, we need to tie this up because it's hanging over my head. Wow, it's way out. Okay. On Hinderspell, Geralt and Ciri had returned to the uh, arms. Scandinavian she names. Her friend, the masked mage. They had boarded a boat and sailed off in an unknown direction. The boat had returned. One passenger on board. A creature of some kind of necklace. That might be significant. I wonder if the elf is cursed. I, I think I'm more inclined to think it's not Siri. I think it's probably... Um... Look at that music change. I love it. Where is... Okay. And then we have water as backup. Hmm. Bombs. Let's go again. We need to look at the beast here again. For cursed ones, yes. Moon dust, devil's puff ball, and cursed oil. Moon dust. Yeah, I didn't think I had it. And Devil's Puffball, it said. I know I have that one. Yeah, okay. There's a... Uh... Right, that's the vitality. Okay. Clears toxicity and cancels all active functions. Alright. I'm really nervous about this one. I'm definitely saving because I don't know what's gonna happen. Oh, come on. I thought I, like, unlocked it, basically. I guess not. That would have been stupid, right? Well, how did they get in again? How did we get in? Oh, right, there's like stairs up the side. Okay. I like that name, Arinya. I think if I'm saying it right. I like it. I think I'm just gonna have to kill the guy, you know? I mean, he got what he deserved, you know? Now it's time to die. Wait, 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 wait. The garden came back. It's alive again! Right? I mean, parts of it are dead, but the trees, some of the trees are alive. Yeah, it came back. Alright. What kind of key, man? I didn't get the key off the guy or what? I don't remember. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I think I gotta go down. This guy super wigs me out. Outside the garden, apparently. Okay. Yeah, that was definitely outside. I just felt the medallion vibrate. Oh. Well. I mean, is this new or old? Probably old. Yeah. you're the best I didn't know you such parkour skills man if you could do that a werewolf could do that and the werewolf could just really easy get out but he is actually bound to this place isn't he I love that it's the mages that are the super scientific bunch in this game I mean sometimes you do find them in, in movies and games and books where where it is the mages that are the super sciencey ones you know and I like that I always like that it's a, lot, a nice little twist I think. Let's see. Who's this? So I need to go left. I want to encounter this floating alchemy bottle, apparently. Creeped out. I'm very creeped out. Whoa. Gone from here. Clouds obscure the sky and turmoil grips the sea. Defend us, great man. We call you random blood. We offer you the mountains. And the mother of Max Noyx protect our shores. Freya. Hear my prayer. Freya, grant my plea. Grant my brother's strength with a sword no. and light in his palm, and no what? guardian next to my exposed. Freya, hear my prayer. Freya, grant I my plea. His love, hatred, and too weak to embark on a journey. Thank you. But I don't want to overstay my welcome. Besides, it's time I went home. They must all think me dead there. Fret not. I'm certain they await you. Hello? Greetings. What may I help you with this time? Morkvarg, got a few yes! more questions. Yes! Okay, good. This might help. I was wondering if there was... I'm like, I don't have enough information. Like, I don't feel good about doing this quest. Because I don't have enough information on how to break the curse or anything, you know? Never heard of this Morkvarg. What is it exactly? Not what. Who. The worst man Skellige has ever known. He held nothing sacred, raided the lands of his own clan, took gold from Nilfgaard, murdered women heavy with child, and children he... Mm -hmm. I know the type. They said he feared but one thing, albeit secretly, the wrath of the gods. Morkvarg decided to prove everyone, himself included, wrong. So he came to Hindisvya to raid the goddess's garden. This was years ago. Archpriestess Ulva stood in his path. He stabbed her in the breast and cast her into the mud. As her blood gushed forth, 
She cursed Morfarg, and he transformed into a monster. Might have already run into this Morkvarg. He a werewolf? I know not. I... I'm afraid I've never seen him. Shame, that. Was hoping you could tell me more about him. Help me with my work. <laughs> What's you this talking with his hands? Our son, Einar. He saw Morkvarg and his men descend on the garden. He was the sole pilgrim to escape with his life that day. Settled in Larvik, you'll find him at the landing there, provided he's not at sea. The curse. Tell me more. Archpriestess Alva cast it. Mm -hmm, so you said. It <laughs> bound Morkvarg to the garden for all time. So even if he is killed, he returns there. Anything else? Never heard of this Morkva. Not the worst. Hmm. They said he feared. Art. Oh, okay. Farewell. The goddess protect you from all evil. And you. You who grant us love, hatred, and strength. Why does the goddess bring you here? Brought myself here, seems to me. You do not worship Freya. No. But I respect those that do, including her priestesses. This does you credit, but is meaningless as well. For Freya rewards and punishes those of other faiths and infidels as she does her own. Worship her and it will help, though it will settle nothing. What do you need? Tell me something about this temple, could you? Could I have come it here to offer my blood at the altar her or something? White cat. She scoured the aisles and finally found him here. Freya's heart <laughs> filled face. with joy, and she blessed this place. A temple was then established here. Didn't know Freya was into cats. Your ignorance speaks poorly of you. I think the cat the pulls Freya's chariot. The white cat is the uh, goddess's chariot. sacred animal and has deep symbolic significance. This temple is for those who seek Freya's help in finding what they desperately seek. Perhaps even you shall ah. experience her grace. Scorn her not. Or have you friends so powerful that you can afford to spurn divine aid? Mind if I have a look at your wares? <laughs> hey. Gimme. Huh. Oh, okay. I don't think I actually need that, but I need bear paste. I know. Farewell. Welcome to the Temple of Freya. I'm Kirisu. How can I help? Oh, uh, yeah. You a novice? Because I'd never take you for a priestess. <laughs> hmm, you've got a good eye. Though a bit off in this case. I'm neither a priestess nor a novice. I escaped a pirate ship, was wounded. That's why I'm here. Sisters Astrid and Dala found me on the beach, near dead. They brought me to the temple, watched over me. I owe them my life. Quite the adventure. Got a home to go back to, or will you stay here? I've a brother in Ord Skellig. He's surely mad with grief searching for me. Once I'm better, all better, I'll find a long ship and head home. I don't know why she doesn't write a letter. So long. Write a letter, lady. You who grant us love, hatred, and strength. Um. Okay. Mystery entrance added. Heard a scraping noise. <laughs> oh! Oh, maybe Neckers and a black troll. Huh. Oh, Pearls of the North. Yes, yes, yes. As 
true in most realms, the predominant religion in Skellig Isles is roots and prehistoric cult of the Great Mother, Mother Nature. On the continent, this worship has taken its object and namesake Mel... Mel... Meltile. I can't... I, Meltile. I can't... I, I know I've heard the word, but I can't say it. I... Meltile. Skellig are counterparts Freya. Like Melitale, uh, Melitale, Freya is represented in three aspects, virgin, mother, and old crone. That of the mother is most common, and sculptors choose to depict her thus in her greatest sanctuary in the Isles. There she stands, a pregnant woman draped in loose robes, her face partially revealed, her head bent, and her hands folded across her breast. A golden necklace hangs around her neck, and on it, a large, pure diamond. Brisingamon shines, oh, it's the diamond she got in the Freya got, the Nordic Freya got, right? Oh, I know what she got. A gold necklace. That's popping my back. Sorry. She got a gold necklace one. Trying to sleep with some dwarves. <laughs> Freya. Oh, no. Uh, Freya Maldrin, or Freya the Great Mother, is the goddess of fertility, love, and beauty and abundance. She's also the patron of oracles, soothsayers, and telepaths. Warriors pray to her before setting out on sea raids, and the wives they leave behind pray to her for their husband's safe return. Only priestesses serve the goddess. Men may worship Freya, but only women may do her work. Freya's priestesses, like the clerics of other cults, treat mages and sorceresses with great reserve. Of course. Ooh, cool! Troll decoction! Nice! Ooh, ice... Or ice troll. Cool. Oh! All winter's cold and deep, frostbite eats your feet, snow falls down and hides the ground, and ice trolls wake from sleep. Folk song heard in Northern Cadewind. Uh, unlike the rock trolls found in lower altitudes, the permafrost dwelling monsters treat every man they encounter as a possible ingredient for a tasty meal. Luckily, ice trolls live atop high mountain ridges. This is why they haven't mastered basic common speech. Ice trolls are crueler than their rocky kin. Hmm. Oh, during a blizzard, they, uh... Quinn, maybe, maybe, I, I don't even know if I, Igni would be useful. Nice! Okay. Alright, so you guys didn't really help me, but I... It's okay. <laughs> um, is that a freaking goat? Oh, well, how does one? Oh, did I, did I, was I supposed to have, like, gone through? Dang it. Oh. Nope, can't go down that way, all right. Darn. I probably am supposed to go through the garden somehow. Well, this looks like if I could get out on the coast, this, in retrospect, looks pretty, I mean, because of the trees, I guess, is pretty impassable, I guess. This, maybe not, though. Glad I went that way, though. Got to see the temple. It's a smart temple, too. It's not, like, sticking out, being all weird. It's, like, hidden, safe. I guess I could have gone further in. I didn't even think about it. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. I didn't even think about it. I was like, oh, I probably shouldn't go in there. Again, look at the, the swords. They match his, like, armor and everything, too. Ah. But the, And the elder boots match really well. I like it. I like it. Do I do? Oh, everybody peaced out. You who grant us love, hatred, and strength. 
Locked. Men may not enter. Dang it, they didn't really give me a whole lot of information, these guys. But, oh well. Look at me, all green and gold. I like it. It's growing on me. I'm glad your garden grew back, too, ladies. Maybe don't be so quick to judge Jennifer. I don't know. I think Yen part of Jennifer seems to care, but at the same time, a big part of her doesn't. So, I don't know. Oh, hi! Oh, yeah! Whoa! Come down here. I did. Where are the dogs at? Jeez. I'm 
actually kind of curious about this horse. Just hiding? the back side of the island is inaccessible? Wait, what? Now he's inside! Uh, Alright, I just need to go in and find him. Still, interesting stuff that we found. Interesting, interesting. We already have bestiary engines on those, but those were like the like more tough versions of sirens, I guess. I, I, if I'm remembering correctly, that's what they are. Not in Arinia, though. They were, they were like Echinata or something. That this came back, kinda. Alright, let's go. Oh, you're, wow, really? Smell me, I know you can. Just just show up. Is he oh, if I go back there? No, he's like Well I have to like go into the cave or what? in here, right? Dude, where you at? Oh my gosh, this is stupid. Um, I'm confused. Apparently... I can go north of the levers, and that's where I am. And, okay, I go to the gate and swim under it through the waterfall. What okay. gate? Need the key. What key? And why? I can just kind of just jump over? Oh, whoa. Okay, so do I have to move the levers up? Yeah. Was I supposed to do this like all at once or what? Ball. 
Oh, hey. Are you... Oh. Oh, hey. Yo. What up? Key. Ramond. Where's the key? Oh, boy. Oh, I have in the chapter house. The crate. But the key. Where's the key? Ah. Why so silent? Ramond. You thief. You rogue. You horse son. Ed, you're out to sneaky. Bastard. I will find the key without you. And yet, stupid prick. How you like that silver? Whoa! I'm trying to hit you. Oh. Here we are again. <laughs> you kind. End this. Or release me. the quest. Apparently if you feed him his own flesh, it kills him. But I thought if he ate... I thought if, even when he chewed his own leg off, you know? It, it still didn't work. Uh, bye? Tiresome conversation. Not interested. What will you do? <laughs> what a witcher ought to. And I get stuff from you again. More werewolf meat. Must be careful with that. Oh, see, he just he just booped in over there. <laughs> 